Law enforcement agencies nationwide, including those in Atlanta, have never had any kind of national standards. And many agencies are now just beginning to realize the importance of working together and sharing information on criminal cases, something that became painfully apparent in Atlanta's missing and murdered children's investigation, where 11 separate law enforcement groups worked on the case. The Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies, meeting this week in Atlanta, wants to set those standards for all agencies, federal, state, and local. Standards for recruitment and hiring, stricter regulations for lockup facilities, and new regulations governing police department evaluation. But those attending today's conference also heard another message, in the form of a warning, that what happened to Atlanta's missing and murdered children could happen in any city if police fail to set the standards they need for effective law enforcement. Keep in mind that each year there are thousands of young people that leave home that become victims of horrible crimes and the only hope that the families have is the missing person unit within these police agencies. Chief Redding said he would discuss the Atlanta case no further because of the recent gag order in the Wayne Williams trial. But he did say the 80s will be a time of accountability for law enforcement agencies everywhere. When the commission wraps up its week-long meeting here tomorrow, it hopes to come away with a set of voluntary guidelines that will result in just about every police department and sheriff's office in the country for the first time being accredited. But there's a wide range of opinion here on what those guidelines should be, how tough they should be. And the bottom line may simply be money and how much individual law enforcement agencies are willing to spend to meet those new guidelines. In downtown Atlanta, Paula Childs, Action News.